Hi again, everybody. Thank you uh, for coming back. Uh, so in 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 3, we get more detail of what we were reflecting on yesterday, the evil human desires that Peter was referring to. Uh, Peter gives us a list here, which is far from exhaustive, but illustrative of the sorts of things that uh, those who are not pursuing the will of God um, will um, be undertaking. He says this, for you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing and detestable idolatry. I don't plan to go through the detail of, of what those things mean and what they look like, but um, they are, as I say, illustrative of the sorts of um, selfish things that we seek to do because if I'm in charge of my life, I'm only interested in pleasing myself. I don't care about other people. And if you look carefully at all of these, they're all selfish. They're all seeking to feed me, to to um, somehow try and satisfy my yearnings, my desires and my hopes. But how we, if we are living in the will of God, then that's not something that is acceptable, is it? We're not to be selfish. We're to be loving, we're to be generous, we're to reach out and think of the others, think of others before ourselves. And to live in ways that demonstrate that, to live in ways that, that demonstrate Christ's love. Uh, and so these examples, and there will be others that you can think of perhaps, that you've partaken in. That if you think long and hard and uh, in your sort of uh, pre-Christian state, can, can, can think about um, how they were basically selfish, they were basically something that fed you or, or sought to, uh, you, you wanted to engage in because they satisfied or went some way towards satisfying uh, our own selfish desires. But instead, if we think back to verse 2, rather for the will of God, if that's our aim, to comply with the will of God, then we're looking for the benefits of others rather than ourselves. We'll get into more detail of this as the week goes on, but let's pray for now um, about how we live. Father, you know all too well how we have lived in the past as pagans do. And uh, Lord, I pray that you help us to put all of that away, uh, put it all out of our minds and enable us, Lord, to, to seek instead to live for you, to hold you as uh, our our guide and our exemplar. Enable us to live in a way that the Christian lives and to honour you in our behaviours and in our attitudes towards others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless you. Thanks for listening. Take care.